go hot. Yeah. We're gonna yeah, raise you back up. So, once I go, he's popping in here, just stay right here. His job right here is popping in right here. Bringing our unit to the CRTC allows us to be extremely efficient with our annual training. They have facilities to uh, work, train, sleep, and eat all in the same area. Security Forces has a, a pretty high um, annual training requirement. We have uh, about 200 hours or so that we are uh, needing to accomplish. Um, of which we can get a lot of the basic stuff done at the home station, uh, but we're required to stay proficient in use of force, um, all of the different weapons that we employ, uh, the legalities of what we do, um, and then we come out here and we're able to actually train expeditionary and, and field craft, which is hard to do at home, and that takes a lot of time. Here at the CRTC, there's a 25 uh, meter live fire range, which we also have, but uh, what we also have access to with a short drive is full distance firing range for our heavy weapons and also the ability to take out our rifles to uh, three, 400 meters, which we can't do home station. Uh, additionally, there's a full mount facility, uh, which is fairly comprehensive, um, kind of replicates an air base, which again, most guard bases don't have a full base that, that they can utilize with sims and ground burst simulators and blanks. The threats that the military faces uh, today in 2024 look a lot different than they did um, 5, 10, 15 years ago. And the Iowa Air National Guard is making sure that we're keeping our folks uh, at the forefront of being ready for whatever that fight's going to look like in the next 5 or 10 years.